So Joey Harrington is, uh, we were talking about this with him just a couple weeks ago. We were talking about the Generation O uniforms. Mm-hmm. And we asked him, we said, have they have they contacted you about the Generation O uniforms? Because, you know, they put out that D'Anthony mm-hmm. Thomas one. Yeah. And he said no. And uh, lo and behold, they have now contacted him because he was on a promo video released today of the next Generation O uniform that's coming so out. So the question becomes, did Joey lie to us? I don't think so. I think he was under specific clandestine orders not to share I, things. I think Joey. Oh, lied. you think so? You I think, think that was lied. already f- taped back then? You can't tell me. That was like last week, wasn't yeah, it? Or the week before? It wasn't long ago. Two weeks. There's no way that in two weeks they contacted Joey, scripted this, shot scripted it, all it, that. Yeah. filmed it. This was in the can. Joey lied. Quite frankly, what I understand a it's a bitch. must lie situation. I think but he, he had to. He yeah. lied. He lied. Here's what it sounds like. So they released a little promo video for the next uh, for the next retro, or you know, I don't know. And let me version. just tee it up because the the start of it won't necessarily make sense. Joey is speaking to his old football helmet. Yes. That's how this thing starts. Man, you you've been through a lot. Ten times in his great career, Joey has led Oregon to comeback victories in the fourth quarter, and because of him, the Ducks will not back down. Whew. Had some good times. Bull Championship Series. I think anybody knows what that is anymore? You're starting to look like me. Dinged up. Got a few scratches. We can, f- we can fix you up. Dear Nike. He's My good friend and I have both seen some better days. My joints aren't what they used to be, and well, he can use a little bit of a paint job. I'm hoping that you might be able to provide a little bit of help. Yeah. Dear Joey, we regret to inform you that we are unable to modernize your joints. But we were able to modernize that original model you sent us. Looks so good that we've decided to bring the O helmet back. It will make its return to the field as part of the new Generation O uniform set. Because you are a video game cover athlete yourself, we will unveil the full uniform combo that goes with it on the eve of College Football 25's release, July 18th. Sincerely, your friends at Nike. They really did shine you up, huh? You're back. How about that? Yeah. And the helmet just looks like it's, yeah. it's kind of that uh, that apple green, but with the 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 original Otson O. Yeah, they took the Joey helmets that had the kind of more of a mallard green paint, and they gave them that more kind of candy apple green, but they lost yeah. the wings. And I think I personally love that. To me, that is. That's Oregon's iconic brand is that O, the O that everyone makes with their hands, the O that's on the side of the helmets. And it kind of gets lost a little bit in some of these designs. I think it's awesome they're bringing this back. And, and yes, the, the real highlight of the video when we talked to Joey, besides him lying uh, about being contacted, his hair. It's, it's perfection. It's, it's on point. It's fantastic. Yeah. And as a bald man, I, I get envious of a lot of hair, but that... I, uh, did he did he have hair? I, that's the other one I want to know. Was hair and makeup involved, or is that a Joey doing that himself in the bathroom? I, I wager this is the best his hair has ever looked in his life. I feel like that's hair and makeup. I feel like Nike sent someone to uh, to put that. I together. bet not. It's pretty he, lush, man. I bet he says that he did that. They. It sounds like it, maybe it was at his house. Was that his house? I don't know. No, I don't. Well, because so. there was a there was like a weird orange, not weird. There was an orange Nike mailbox where he mailed the letter and put the helmet but, in. So that I don't think that that's been the his same house. thing they did with the Anthony Thomas. So may, I guess they either had that as a prop or he went to Nike to do it. Yeah. I don't know. So what they're doing now is they're they're yeah it's the Anthony Thomas they're mailing letters and so this is the whole bit that they're doing. So so many questions. So for much Joey questions. Unfried. But the hair, the hair, Joey. It's just it, it, it's on point. It looks fantastic. So the 18th is what uh, Thursday. We'll get the unis on Thursday. Yeah, and then the so we we had a little confusion about this earlier. The the college football EA twenty five the video game mm-hmm. you can download it now, but it doesn't come out like in stores yeah. until Friday. Yeah, the physical copy if you want to go out and, and do that. Someone on the Vancouver Ford text line said you had to pay an extra ninety nine bucks if you wanted to get it twelve hours early, which just about everybody did. Woo. Yikes! Wait, that's really dumb. Yeah, Why it's would a good you pay- way to grab some cash if you're EA? I guess. Well, I mean, it's dumb to just pay 90 100%. Wait You've been waiting a decade. Who do you care? Yes, wait 12 more hours. <laughs> I love people. But I tell you what, I'm going to start a business that just absolutely feasts on people's lack of patience. 
<laughs> there is money to be made. <laughs> they have the, no patience. Well, but it's the same thing about like people that board early on airplanes and like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's that people have no patience. No, you can you can profit big time off yes. of that. So the game is uh, it's seventy dollars to buy the game, and you had to pay a hundred dollars extra to get it early. That's what I was. That's what someone texted us on the Vancouver Report text line. So I, I don't. I'm not a gamer. I can't verify this, but that was one report. Well, I'm sure it's right. Our noted oh. street news people out there. It's a, it's a they lot, never steer us. It's a lot of coin. I did see that Arch. Some people were mad because they gave Arch Manning sixty grand to be in the game and and promote it, even though he's not even the starter <laughs> at Texas, because he originally did not opt into the game. And then they made a uh, a commercial about him opting in, and so and that was, apparently the NIL deal was like was around sixty grand for him to promote that. And, and, you know, all right. I wonder what Colorado's part is in all of this as well because they're, you know, we we've talked already that their rankings are ridiculous compared to what their actual product is. Like they're a top twenty five team and their defense is fine and they have some of the best players in the nation. And what's up, boss? You believe none that? of that stuff's really true, but you know it's marketable. So oh no, oh no, oh yeah. I mean they're they're jocking them. They're they're one of the better teams on the game for some reason. I read through that bull junk you wrote. Wait until they win three games again.